Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Please hit that thumbs up button down below to support our community. Five things you do that narcissists hate the most. Narcissists are all about themselves. They're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They see people as objects that exist to meet their needs. So of course it's very frustrating and disappointing for them when you do certain things because they want you to be under their control like a puppet on a string. They don't want you to have a mind of your own. They don't want you to think for yourself and make your own choices and decisions. Because while it may be in your best interest, it may be unfavorable for them. So they're trying to manage anything that might otherwise put them at a disadvantage. Typically, whatever is good for us is going to be bad for a narcissist, which is why they want to manage and control everything that you do. There's rarely ever a mutually beneficial aim or result with a narcissist. They will typically want the opposite of whatever you want. They like to go against the grain because they see it as a source of power where otherwise they would have none. Which is why there's always going to be things you do that they hate. And there are bound to be many things like that. But here are five that they hate the most. One, when you fail to make them feel special. Narcissists hate it when you make them feel ordinary, common or usual. They want to feel special and unique. They want to stand out. They want to be better, greater than other people. They want to be different. They want to be superior. The last thing they want is to be treated the same as everyone else. Which is why if you fail to make them feel special, you will see a very different and darker side to them. Where they may begin to act out and just do anything in their power to try to grab your attention. Because the last thing they want is to be ignored. Their disorder is characterized by a need to feel seen, where people are aware of them and recognize them because they've shown themselves to be distinguishable, to be recognized as different from everyone else. As a result of some readily noticed feature or characteristic. Two, when you reject them, the last thing a narcissist wants is to be rejected. Nothing hurts them more than rejection, where they feel as though you don't accept them, or if you dismiss or refuse their proposal or idea. That is a soul-crushing experience for a narcissist, because although they may never tell you or show it, they actually want nothing more than to be loved, than to be wanted and needed. The last thing they want is to feel like they don't matter to you. Which is why if you do reject a narcissist, it will often cause a narcissistic injury. Which will be followed by narcissistic rage. And in that moment there is no telling what they might do. Because they will do anything just to feel like they matter. To feel like they exist. Many people become narcissists because in their childhood they felt like they didn't matter to their parents. Although some narcissists may have been the golden child in their childhood, they may have been spoiled and told that they're a wonderful child. Even though they may have been rebellious and disruptive, but they grew up thinking that they couldn't do anything wrong. So their disorder is an adaptation to whatever environment they experienced in childhood which is why they're so attention seeking. It's why they love to be the center of attention and why they hate it when someone tries to take the spotlight away from them. Because the last thing they want is to feel like they're not significant or relevant. 
three, when you set a boundary. If there's one thing narcissists can't stand, it's boundaries. They hate being told no. They want to be able to do whatever they want, whatever they want to do it, without having to consider your feelings or experience. Because they're arrogant and entitled, they feel like they should be able to have or do whatever they want. And they don't think that they should have to answer to you, because in their minds you're, sub you're their subordinate. You're meant to listen to them. You're meant to submit to their demands. You're not meant to tell them what to do, because in their minds they're greater than you. They're smarter, they're more intelligent, they're more successful, so they don't ever feel like they should be taking advice from you or that you should be telling them what to do. They see that as an attack on their character. So they may seek to harm you in return to what they perceive to be a slight or insult. Four, when they lose control of you, when they lose the ability to influence or direct your behavior and the course of events, Narcissists always want to be in control. They want to have the power to decide the way in which something will happen or the way in which you will behave. They want to exercise restraint and direction over you. They want to dominate and command you because they're very insecure. They're uncertain and anxious about themselves. They feel they're not enough. So they become very possessive and controlling to where they want to restrict or contain you because the last thing they want is for you to be free where you're able to act as you wish without being under their control and you have the full right to make your own decisions because that would trigger them to reflect on their own insecurities it would reveal just how out of control they are because they depend on you as a source of their stability security and order you're the glue that holds them together. Without you, they would fall apart. Five, when you abandon them, they hate when you cease to support or look after them. When you leave them without help or assistance, they do not look at what they did to you or what caused you to want to leave them. All they're concerned with is your reaction to the abuse, not the abuse itself. Which is why there's really no winning with narcissists, because they believe that they should be able to do whatever they want without consequences, while you are responsible for everything you do. Even if you were excessively pushed and provoked, they still won't see themselves as having anything to do with it, which makes them very dangerous people to be around. And it also makes them very dangerous when you abandon them because they have an overwhelming fear of being abandoned. When you abandon them, they fear losing control and it cuts off their supply. It's like there's no air and you're taking their oxygen mask away from them. So then they want to lash out at you and they want to destroy you because they see it as though you belong to them as though you're this object that exists to serve them. They do not see us as separate people with our own wants, feelings and needs. They expect everything to revolve around them. So when you do try to separate yourself from them, they feel like they're in a fight for their lives. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comment section, hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.